Most people plan to make their wedding special, but this wedding in southern England was a first for science. Nick and Linda invited researcher Paul Zak to take blood samples from them and their guests. It was a chance to find out what goes on in people's bodies during this momentous bonding event. The value of doing this as a field study is that we have an actual real-life event. So this way we actually go in in a very natural setting, a wedding with 100 people, some of which knew each other and some of which didn't know each other. Thirteen people, including the bride and groom, had their blood drawn before and after the couple took their vows. Zach wanted to find out if there would be a rise in their oxytocin, a hormone associated with love, trust and bonding. We thought maybe during this wedding ceremony, people are bonding to each other and they're actually releasing oxytocin. So we measured oxytocin and we also measured a bunch of other hormones that were also associated with reproduction. Zach found that the couple and close family members had more extreme changes in oxytocin. Linda had the biggest spike in oxytocin, 28% increase in oxytocin before and after her vows. So she's really feeling the love. Who's next? The bride's mother. Of course the bride's mother is very engaged emotionally. And then the groom's father. And then the groom. And then further out are some just random friends that we pulled. Testosterone is linked to sex drive and studies have found that it drops when men fall in love. Zach expected this to happen at the wedding too, but results proved otherwise. We also found that testosterone levels were flat for all the men who we tested, except for the groom. So immediately after the vows, his testosterone levels doubled from beforehand. Why is that? He had this beautiful woman wearing a gorgeous trapless gown, and he's thinking about the honeymoon. According to Zach, the most important finding was that just being part of a wedding makes us release oxytocin. This may help explain why most people choose to have a wedding instead of eloping with their partner. I think the ritual evolved because we all have a stake in sustaining the human race. Bride and groom have a built-in set of people who are emotionally engaged with them, who care about the outcome. 